We start off to week seven. Uh, still at the alpaca farm here, but we should be heading out later this afternoon. Hopefully the weather holds out and it doesn't start raining on us here. I did get a package delivered here to the alpaca farm with some new shoes. Um, I've got my, the ones that have carried me these past 545 miles over here on the left hand side. They've certainly taken a beating, but they've held up pretty well. Um, I haven't had like any holes or anything and I feel like they're still supporting my feet. You can see that the tread is pretty, pretty worn down here. And then we can compare with my, my fresh new ones. Uh, so looking forward to, to trying them out. We actually just treated everything with permethrin uh, to help stave off some of the ticks that, that we'll be encountering. Oh, who's there? Hi. Even the alpacas go inside when it's raining. Are they smarter than we are? The weather did not hold out. What's this? A new sign? That's right. One quarter of the way there. I guess the 24 hours of rain has deeply increased the flow of these streams. This isn't even the river we're supposed to ford. <laughs> it's your hip deep? The footing underneath in the water is actually decent. Okay. So it's not too bad. Just take that, put your poles away, strap everything up. Take your pants off. Take your pants off, get them all of it. Uh, <laughs> face this way. I, I turned this way and the, it, it was too much. Oh. <laughs> there goes my brave chivalrous husband carrying my pack for me. Love of my life. Woo. Be careful. You really feel it there. Whoa, this is strong. Yeah, it is. Almost. Nice. Nice. Oh. Hold on tight in the middle, Katie. She's in it now. That current is strong. It's super strong. I got about probably where she is, and it's where he starts to go. Hold on tight. I'm you got pretty it. sure I can do this. Yeah. Nice. She's fighting. Oh, she's using her leg. Look at that. She's swimming. Nice. Were you seriously treading? No, I just picked my feet up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <This> drag. <laughs> Here is a measuring stick for scale of how deep this river is today. We were just talking about how gross the stream water looked. Turn the corner and there's this little water cachet. Thank you, trail angels. How much do you wish you had a parachute right now and could jump? Uh, I wanted to give a little bit more background info about what's been going on the past couple of days. So after we left Long Neck Lair, uh, it was pretty rainy all that day, got to a shelter. 
Um, there were about six of us staying in the shelter, had a little slumber party, um, and then rained pretty heavily the next morning and quit maybe around mid-morning, which is about when we left, conveniently. Uh, and we were like, this is great, the sun's out, we're gonna dry off. And then we heard about this river crossing that we were coming up to and from a comment maybe about a week before and far out, it said that, oh, ankle deep guys, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> and as soon as we set out that morning and we crossed a pretty substantial stream that did not exist on the map, we were like, uh-oh. <laughs> so I guess every tree was just releasing copious amounts of excess rainwater that it had gathered all being released into Lake Creek, <laughs> which is the one that had the washed out bridge. Um, so we had to ford, ford that. Luckily, I, don't, I honestly don't think I could have done it by myself. I'm five, two and three quarters. <laughs> um, so the water was pretty high on me and I think with a pack just would have been a little dicey. Um, luckily, I have Patrick who helped carry my pack over, but if I had been alone or didn't have a taller hiking partner, I probably would have had to camp out and just wait for the water to go down before crossing. Um, and then after that, the wind started picking up. So it's forecasted for 60, 60 mile per hour gusts that night. And it really <laughs> felt like, um, felt like it. I know there was some severe weather going across the rest of the country as well. So we ended up getting off trail, uh, staying at um, a hostel, Brooks Garden, Brooks Garden Hostel. I enjoyed some waffles there in the morning and then set out. So I think you're, you're all up to date now. We're sitting here at Arby's, ran into Pop here on the trail and he's so graciously offered to give us a ride into town to uh, get some food here. So thank you for taking a risk and uh, putting us all in your car. Picking up some strangers. Yeah. <laughs> Six hundred miles. How do you feel? Good. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> uh, today we passed our six hundred mile mark, and that's about it. <laughs> as far as milestones for today, we're headed towards. Trent's grocery store. I think it's just a gas station, um, but we're gonna camp there tonight. And hopefully, it sounds like they've got like a deli, maybe some hamburgers and cheeseburgers there. So looking forward to that. Apparently it's not recommended that we get water from this bridge or <laughs> from the river some sort of issue with deer carcasses. Oh, it's a little wobbly. Hi, buddy. How are you? This is our little campground for the night. Just enjoying our brews here in our tent before we go to bed tonight. Mine is the last of the trail magic that Pop gave us on the trail yesterday. I uh, got this double-decker oatmeal cream pie. Huge oatmeal cream pie fan. Um, 
they were pretty popular hurricane snacks for us as kids. But look at that, 500 calories per package. We have arrived at our destination today. It was one of our longer days today. Uh, when we set out, we said at least 18 miles. And we got to mile 18 and we we're like, maybe 24 miles. <laughs> so we did all 24. Our furthest, furthest distance to date. Um, and I think we feel pretty good. Our feet are tired. Uh, Deceiver's ankle, I think, is bothering him a little bit. But just looking forward to dinner and a quick and easy morning into Parisburg tomorrow. Gonna make those um, long miles today worth it. I think we've got time to check out this Angel's Rest. And you're not allowed to camp there. People do, of course. But... Uphill both ways, direct. Oh, wow. It's town day. Uh, we're head off, headed off into Parisburg, the Paris of Southern Virginia. Um, we're trying to see if we can get a hitch into town. It's only about a mile away, but wish us luck, fingers crossed. Star of the day right here. The diet of a through hiker. Old blue hat, making sure he hits every white blaze. May he be an inspiration to us all. I think he missed a spot. <laughs> send a rally, send a rally. Don't hurt me. No! <laughs> Found some new friends there, Brian? They smell better than you guys. <laughs> Uh-oh. Say hi to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> this wow. is my friend Rachel. Hi. Her and her partner Greg have come out to, they brought us away, which was so good. And now they're gonna walk with us. Are yeah. you ready? One mile. Oh, right. I One mile. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Yeah, there are Will you continue with us on our journey to Maine? <laughs> this could be your new home. I love it. <laughs> Rachel and Greg did not decide to join us for the rest of our hike, so we were sad to see them go, but very happy to just see them at all. <laughs> um, so I guess that closes out our week tonight. Uh, if you want to check out more content, you can head over to our friend Blue Hat Hikes channel and check him out. I'll also link that down below. Um, but coming up, we will be getting off trail on Saturday for our second zero. So looking forward to that.